Hi, this is Richard from the AI Advantage Pro live events. If you want to know more about AI, find the right products and network with people like you, you should sign up straight away. Here are some highlights of the first three events featuring Stuart Marshall, best-selling author of Kick Some Sass. I'm a translator of IT gibberish, which is my way of saying I try to turn this enormous world of technology into some very simple language and simple ideas that all the non-technical and all the non-computer people can sort of get to grips with very easily. I'm going to tell you then what AI isn't. Then I'll tell you what it is. A few practical ideas around how we should really approach adopting AI into our businesses and personal life as well for that matter. And then just a, a little glance at where the world is heading. Joseph Rosenbaum otherwise known as Professor Synapse from SynthMinds, talking about AI and the future of education. This is my uh, soapbox that I constantly am standing on. There's a lot of potential for this technology, and there's a lot of potential for good, but there's also a lot of potential for harm. And it's really all of our responsibility to be the good guys and not the villains when using this technology, whether that be intentionally or unintentionally. And most recently, Don Bosco, founder of Be Human showing you how to deliver personalized video marketing messages at scale. How can my business make human connections at scale? And, and that's where for me, video came to be a really, really important medium of communication. We enable you to make personalized videos using our AI so that you can have human connections at scale with your audience. And we have over 120,000 users on the platform who work in over 25 different languages. With up-to-date, AI, news, and tech tips from John North, the CEO of Evolvepreneur. So a bit of the latest news, and because the news is running pretty quick in AI world, OpenAI has returned ChatGPT browsing, so you can now see the Bing search, which is, seems to be working reasonably well, as well as ChatGPT also introduced a multimodal scenario where you can see, hear, hear speak, and interact on the actual chat. So you can actually up upload an image, you can actually choose voice and stuff like that. So that's a new, whole new level. But the trouble with Midjourney is it's actually complicated to sign up for. That's what stopped me the first time. But we used it to create all these sorts of images for the show. So as you can see, I took Richard's face. So I just took his actual face and just uploaded and asked it to come up with some ideas about podcasting. And most importantly, the attendees. Am I going to be, am I going to work for AI or is AI going to work for me? And I choose the second. Mm -hmm. And and I'm looking for ways that I can use AI to increase the human-to-human -human interaction. Being so new to it and picking it up as a go because of my interest is in writing. The possibilities as far as creating your fan base and all that sort of thing, it, it's immense. Each event comes with unique special offers from the speakers. Join up now to gain access to past events and offers at AIadvantage.show in the live events section or use the QR code on screen. It's not too late. Events take place during the first week of each month. Seats are limited, so reserve your spot now and catapult your business into the AI era. AI, Advantage Pro. AI, for real people. Let's innovate together.